So, da wären wir. Also ich bin schon äh, bis hierhin gegangen, denn jetzt ist ein ganzer Tag wieder vergangen, seitdem ich jetzt aufgenommen habe. Ich bin gerade falsch weggegangen. Ups. <lacht> ähm, ja, ich habe es gestern doch nicht mehr hinbekommen, den Dings aufzunehmen noch und den äh, Auftrag, beziehungsweise den Inhalt für YouTube in all zwei Tagen aufzunehmen. Also ist auch nicht so schlimm. Ich meine, ihr bekommt äh, ja fest, dass ich überhaupt mal, mal Jumia hochgeladen Bis dahin habe ich noch genug Zeit überhaupt äh, mich äh, hinter KWs Auftrag zu setzen und ja, deswegen kein Stress. Aber auf jeden Fall heute werden wir es abschließen. So. Da ist der verdammte äh, Lügner. <lacht> ne, warte. Vakar ist äh, nicht der Lügner, das ist der. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen you guys before. Here for business. Ja. Fahar, right? Yes. May I ask, who introduced you? Alkami. My friend here wants to enroll in his architecture class, but they're a bit short on money. Alkami told us you're the man to go to in this kind of situation. Richtig. Oh, sounds like his business is booming. How much do you need? Let me see. I'd say around three million mora. Oof. You call that a bit short on money? Anyway, since you're here because of Alkami, I can work things out for you. Make sure you sign the contract, though. Lots of people are borrowing money from me nowadays. Welch Vertrag? Ah, here you go. Don't worry, there's nothing particularly unusual about it. All you need to do is pay back the loan in full within three years. Okay. And what if they won't be able to pay it back? What do you mean, won't be able to pay it back? Once you graduate from Alkami's place, you'll be making millions of more a year. Easy. At that point, paying this off will be a piece of cake. Yeah, full. And even if you were to run into some difficulties and need to delay the installments, it's no big deal. We're all reasonable people here. If you can't pay quickly, you can just pay it back over a longer period. All that would change is your interest rates would get a little higher. Uh, it's hard work running a business. If we're taking risks to supply you with Mora, it's only fair that you take on a bit of the financial risk as well. Anyway, there's no point in tying yourself in knots over the contract. With the way you're reading every single line, it's like you're worried you're about to get scammed out of your whole life savings. Why would I lie to you? Tons of students at Alkami's place have signed the contract. Aren't they all doing pretty well for themselves? Yeah, full. Hmm. I just did some calculations in my head. When you say the interest will get a little higher, do you mean it'll get higher than 30%? Of course, the contract did a great job of trying to obfuscate that fact. It only listed the amount that you'll have to repay every day, which gives the false impression that the amount hasn't actually increased by all that much. Oh, no. If you actually do the math, however, it's clear that the amount you need to pay on interest alone will amount to hundreds of thousands of mora per year. Most people can't even make that much mora in a year. Your greed really knows no bounds. Oh, Jesus. Even my That's creditor extreme. doesn't dare to raise rates that high. Once a family signed on to a scheme like this, there's no getting out. What are you trying to say, huh? Ihr meint, du sollst für deine Verbrechen ins Gefängnis gesteckt werden. I figured something was off when two well-dressed people came looking for a loan. Think you got the better of me? Too many people are sticking their noses where they don't belong these days. Luckily for me, though, this is a pretty secluded spot. Hey, come out and teach these guys a lesson! Uh, Eremites? Hm, I've already fought off more than my fair share of them when I was working in the desert. There are only a few of them, so they shouldn't pose much of a threat. Marak, you're up. I said, "Wit, also, the Leute ihm helfen werden." Also, ja, doch, sie werden ihm helfen, aber nicht erfolgreich. Das kann ich nicht sagen. So, und das, und dann machen wir das. Was das war alles? Das ist doch ein Witz. Eine Liebe. So why go this far to destroy my livelihood? Damit nicht die Leute abgezuckt werden. Debt has the power to append your whole life. I know very well just how miserable living in debt can be. But my debts are the culmination of many different factors, and my interest rate is still somewhat reasonable. 
As long as I continue to work with my situation in mind, my debts will eventually be paid off. But these students are different. They have neither the mental preparation nor the financial resources to pay back a debt like this. Mm. You sold the dreams of becoming an architect to the students as bait, urging them to take on insurmountable amounts of debt to satisfy your greed. Ha! Everyone knows there's no such thing as a free lunch. It's their own fault for falling into the trap. And if we're going to talk about greed, aren't those students the ones who are blinded by it? They completely ignore the risk that's right there in front of them. Yeah, that's a shit. Yeah, it's a shit. It's a shit. Oh my god. It's a shit. It didn't verbrechen nicht. Ha! And here comes the silver tongue. Surely you use that to reel in the students as well. Even now, many of them are still hopelessly dreaming of striking gold after they graduate. People grow by learning from their mistakes. I hope this will be a valuable lesson to them. <sighs> Let's head back to the academia and turn this guy over to the Matra. They should be able to link him with Alkami's business. Ja. Offenbar erfolgreich. Er bringt Fakach zur Ak Akademie. Treffen wir auf seine oder auf, auf irgendeinen anderen äh, Mantra? Mantra? Da ist jetzt die Frage. Ich nehme mal an, wir werden wahrscheinlich keine, nicht seine äh, Gesicht bekommen. Sino? Didn't think I would run into you here. Oder doch. <laughs> My vacation just ended not too long ago. So I'm going over some cases at the academia. Who's this? Jetzt hebt Sino was passiert ist. Oh, der wird sich noch freuen. I see. Charging an interest rate over 30% indeed constitutes a crime. As it is highly likely that Alkami is also benefiting from this scheme. The Matra will open an investigation on him as well. The training center will be closed until further notice. Not done. Any funds we manage to recover from the suspects will be returned to the students. It's unclear how much we'll be able to get back, however, given their extravagant spending. Yep. That should still be enough. Once the students realize the error of their ways, they won't fall so easily for such traps in the future. Anyway, thank you for your help. I hope this won't be too much trouble for you. It's no trouble. Just another day at work. How did you two get tangled up in this anyway? Akami had the fourth KV as Ausbieter einzustellen. Did you accept any mora from him? He promised to pay me 300,000 mora per lecture, but I resigned as soon as I finished the first session. I didn't take a single coin. Ah, uh, that's good. Hmm? What do you mean, that's good? Would you have taken me into custody as well if I had actually accepted any mora? I wouldn't have gone that far. But, had he insisted that you were also an active participant in his schemes, under our rules, we would have been required to open an investigation on you as well. Yeah, okay. Either way, though, I believe you are innocent in all of this. Had you actually been alright with making money through less than noble means, your life wouldn't be the mess it currently is. Hey, what was that? Um, uh, <clears throat> never mind. Your life is fine. You're just messing with me now, aren't you? <laughs> Let's get back to business. If Alkami's case can be successfully resolved, you'll be eligible for a monetary reward from the academia. Don't forget to pick it up after the fact. Okay. Huh. I didn't even know there was such a thing. I never would have guessed. <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is that we didn't report Alkami because we thought we could make some more off of it. The reward will be given regardless of your personal motivations. It was implemented with the intent of encouraging people to supply tips to the Matra. Oh, okay. Interessant. Fine. Is there anything else? I want to go back to the training center one more time and talk to some of the kids. Sure. But you should wait until tomorrow. My subordinates will shut down the center today and summon the students to gather information on the total amount of mora they've lost in the scam. All right, then I'll stay out of their way. I can talk to the kids tomorrow. I have a few other things to take care of, so I'll be off for now. If you want to follow up on this case, just come find me again. Or ask one of the Matra. Okay. <sighs> that should finally be the end of that. Oh, who would have thought it would turn out like this? All I wanted was to find a new gig and earn some mora. Yep, and then it's just like that. Alkami would sink this low. It still makes me really upset. 
Still, I think I feel a little better now than when you found me back at the tavern. Hey, wieso? It's a little ironic, but you could say it's because I've realized that there are many circumstances in the world that are even worse than my own. Now that I've seen such things firsthand, I suppose I've earned a new sense of appreciation for my life. Hmm, okay. How should I put it? I'm pretty stubborn when it comes to my profession, so I often argue with my clients. Das haben wir gemerkt, ja. The arguments are usually extremely frustrating. And every once in a while, I'd wonder if I only became an architect because fate wanted me to pay for some sins I'd committed in a previous life. Alkami's suggestion would have allowed me to quit my life as an architect and earn money solely from my reputation. But now that I've experienced that for myself, I can confidently say that I'd never want to do it again. Und deshalb glaubt er, du hattest keinen Geschäftssinn. Every scholar has their own sense of pride and a line that they don't like to cross. Of course, when faced with the vicissitudes of life, some will surrender these things to seek a more comfortable life. I can understand that. Just speaking for myself, though, I don't think that's something I'd ever be able to do. The voice in my heart would just keep repeating one thing. The moment I turn away from my dreams would be the moment my career ends. <laughs> okay. If I stop devoting everything to my creative activities, I'd be able to lead a more comfortable life. But at the same time, my sense of intuition and understanding for the arts would also begin to degrade. Okay. At that point, any materialistic ease I may have gained in life would just become another form of torment. In comparison, my current life comes with its share of difficulties, but at least I'd never have to deal with that kind of existential reckoning. Hold on. Eigene Prinzipien zu haben ist eine gute Sache. <laughs> I appreciate it. You may call me conceited for this, but I would also like to think I'm talented enough to be able to lead a decent life without compromising my pride. Es möglich. It's certainly not easy, but ja. I want to keep at it. My thanks again for being such a great help throughout all of this. I'm planning to pay another visit to those kids tomorrow. Want to come with me? Yep. All right. I'll see you tomorrow then. Get some good rest. Du auch. <laughs> okay, okay. Das heißt, wir werden die jetzt äh, morgen besuchen. Und auch so checken, wie die Lage ist. Wahrscheinlich haben dann ein paar die Situation ein bisschen mehr, mehr verstanden und wissen, was da los ist. Und ein paar, ein paar sind enttäuscht und gut los. Was auch immer. Ich bin jetzt mal gespannt, wie die verschiedenen äh, Lerner dann eben reagieren darauf. Aber das ist, muss das mal jeder ein Cousin war. Sowohl Samen als auch Frucht. Darin okay. Dann nehmen nicht. Ja. So, ui. Oh, das war knapp. Oh, Jesus. So, und da sind sie. Hallo. Tot, alle drei. Okay, okay. Ja, ne? Mr. Kave said we can keep working on our fundamentals and try to get into the academia. Ha! <laughs> easier said than done. If it was easier to get into the academia, none of us would have signed up for the class in the first place. Yeah, okay. Only the best of the best can get into the academia studying on their own. Uh, Mr. Kave might be willing to teach us. Why? What reason does he have to stick around? <clears throat> so... You're the only ones that showed up today, huh? Huh? Kaveh's here! Now, that's Mr. Kaveh to you. I'm here as your instructor, so let's keep things a little more proper. I'll keep instructing you for a while longer. You can pass on the message to the other students. As long as someone wants to come, they can join the class. Okay. Oh, also, I'm usually pretty busy, so I'll only be able to teach architecture fundamentals on my days off. Another disclaimer. I can't promise that you'll all be able to understand everything I'm going to teach. Architecture is not an easy profession. Aesthetics aside, even the basics of safe design can already be a handful for most people. Mm. If you want to design safe buildings, you'll have to go through a systematic study of structural engineering. And just as a heads up, all of this will be a huge step up from the superficial stuff you were learning before. You'll take both talent and perseverance to get through the course. I don't want to hear anyone say that I didn't warn you. We'll try our best. Yeah, done. 
It seems some of you are really serious about this after all. All right, everyone, pack your stuff up. No need to prepare much for today's class. We're going to go on a quick field trip. Wohin? You'll know once we get there. Come on, let's get going. We'll be off once everyone's grabbed their pencils and sketch pads. Okay, flash the report aus. Unbedingt eine von den Gebäuden anzuschauen oder vielleicht irgendwas was Dings. Oh warte, vielleicht die Zeichnung. Also jetzt in dieser Route haben wir die Zeichnung nicht gesehen von ihm als Kind. Aber bei dem einen Ending, wo wir äh, der Mutter nachgegangen sind und äh, danach äh, eben halt die, äh, die Kiste aufgemacht haben und alles so. Da haben wir Dings äh, mitbekommen, dass hier, äh, das hier ein Teil von Port Omos, glaube ich, äh, ihre Mutter war, ne? Oder was war's? Oder, nein, er hat eine Zeichnung gemacht auch. Und sonst hat er nur hier Renovierungsarbeiten gehabt. This lighthouse has been around for a long time, and I handled its renovations when I first ah, graduated jawohl. from the academia. The point of today is not so much about the lighthouse as a building, however. I just want you to take a look at it and do a bit of self-reflection. If you were tasked today with designing a building, how would you want it to look like? Don't think about how you'd actually go about building it for now. Just put your ideas to paper and draw the prettiest building that comes to your mind. Okay. So, it can be, uh, any kind of building? Yep, as long as you think it'd look good. It doesn't even necessarily have to be a building. If you want, you can draw trees, the ocean, or even a garden area. Draw whatever you'd like. Was ist der Zweck dieser Übung? In my experience, it's best to approach the study of architecture from a point of personal interest, rather than for the sake of a career. Okay. Both the study and practice of architectural design are extremely difficult. A person who's forced to work on projects that they don't resonate with will only struggle and suffer. Yeah, okay. So at least for today, I hope the students will be able to create something that they enjoy. There's no need to think about it too hard. They'll have plenty of time in the future to revisit the design and make changes. Mm. What do you think? Want to try your hand at it as well? Don't forget that this is a free class from Mr. Kave, the light of the Kisharwar. On a normal day, this would cost you 300,000 mora. Yo. <lacht> und ja, yes, yes. Kunst und Leben. Nice. Wir haben auf den T-Boat gebaut, die scheint. Äh, der scheint eine kleine Hütte zu machen. Und die anderen zwei kann man leider nicht sehen. <lacht> Ähm, diese, äh, nee, warte, die erste Lektion. Dies ist das schönste Gebäude in deinem Herzen, zugleich der sichere Hafen, den nur dir gehört. Das ist sehr nice. Okay, damit hätten wir es abgeschlossen. Wir haben KWs Auftrag jetzt damit hinter uns. Und was ist nice? Ich muss sagen, ich habe nicht erwartet am Anfang, dass dieser Auftrag so lange wird. Also ich glaube, das wird einer der längsten Aufträge äh, sein. Und, ja. Yeah. Äh, abhängig davon, äh, wie ich hier und dran denke, normalerweise, wenn ich dann hier äh, das Thema anhöre, ähm, werde ich euch hier, glaube ich, mal einfügen, wie groß das Rohmaterial war. Und, ja, weil normalerweise ist die Folge von einem Hangout maximal so zwischen einer, na, nicht anderthalb Stunden, so meistens so fast zwei Stunden. So, es ist meistens eine Stunde 50 irgendwas so. Oder noch, es ist meistens eine Stunde drei, äh, und ein Dreiviertel, denn meistens bin ich ja noch, ähm, brauche ich noch ein bisschen, äh, bis ich Intro anfange und alles so. Und dann noch, äh, wird hier noch, äh, Dings, äh, äh werde, bin ich auch nicht da, weil ich irgendwie kurz runter muss, irgendwas so. Also so kleine Störungen. Doch, hier, jetzt frage ich mich ganz stark auch, wie groß es ist. Aber ja, wie gesagt, wir haben KWs Auftrag abgeschlossen. An sich ein, äh, kleiner, Net ja. Kleiner will ich jetzt nicht sagen, ein großer, netter Auftrag, der extrem cool war jetzt, weil man KW nur mehr kennenlernen konnten, was ja auch der Sinn von dieser Quest war. Und äh, sehr viel ist von der Welt gesehen. Also ich finde, man ist relativ viel äh, das World Building, also wirklich, wirklich in das World Building reingegangen. Und das war sehr interessant herauszufinden, dass äh, welche Teile von äh, ihm renoviert wurden, sowie Teile von ihrer äh, von seiner Mutter und alles so und es hat sich auch bestätigt ich hatte wirklich recht er war wirklich beteiligt an äh, dem Palast 
Äh, Alcazar, Sal, Sal, Sal. Ja, ich kann das nicht aussprechen. <lacht> ich habe mal nicht probieren, das richtig auszusprechen. Das geht nur nach hinten los. Und ja. Jetzt haben wir es abgeschlossen und wir werden eine Zeit wieder warten, bis das nächste kommt. Ich nehme mal, wir bekommen noch 3.8 mit. Wahrscheinlich zu dem gleichen Set von Aufträgen, also einmal im Legend Quest und dann ein Hangout. Und ich glaube, dann neuern wir aber auch schon auf Dings, auf, äh, auf 4.0. Und wenn nicht, dann höchstens in 12 Wochen, das heißt nach 3.9. Aber ja, das sehen wir dann noch. Also, ich habe nichts gegen äh, noch eine kleine Wartezeit, bevor Dings losgeht. Ich hoffe, um ehrlich seid auch. Nein, warte, 3.8, wann wird es kommen? Auf 3.8 äh, könnte für mich ruhig die letzte Version sein. Ich habe gerade gerechnet, dass äh, die 3.9 oder 4.0 dann vielleicht anstatt äh, äh, fällt dann die Sommerferien. Das wäre doch für mich kein Problem. Zumal auch, weil normalerweise gehe ich immer arbeiten in, in den Sommerferien, aber dieses Mal war es nicht, um einfach mehr Zeit für mich zu haben und etwas zu genießen einmal wieder. Und da habe ich genug Zeit für erstens aufzunehmen und zweitens verdammt viel zu, äh, äh, zu, äh, oh mein Gott, zu erkunden. Also ja. Aber jetzt schlabe ich jetzt schon wieder viel äh, herum, wie ich meistens mache dann äh, ab äh, Schluss für einen Auftrag, besonders von dem äh, Aufträgen einer Version. Also ja, es hat mir auf jeden Fall sehr gefallen und ich hoffe, es hat euch auch sehr gefallen. Und ich danke euch fürs Zuschauen und wir sehen uns dann auf dem äh, Kanal irgendwo bei anderen Projekten oder eben halt das nächste Mal, wenn Genshin wieder mal ein bisschen mehr Content raus, äh, raus äh, schmeißt für uns. Und ja, dann danke fürs Zuschauen, wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal. Ciao! Thank <laughs> you.